Good evening, good afternoon, good morning to you wherever you are in the world. Welcome to the 2022 CGS National Conference. It is wonderful to welcome all of you, those of you here on the Zoom and those of you following on live stream as well. Thank you for joining us. I am Donna Park. I am chair of the board of the CGS Education Fund. Some of you know us well, but for those of you joining us for the first time, let me share our vision and mission with you. Our vision is a peaceful, free, just, and sustainable world community. Our mission is to educate and advocate for a democratic federation of nations with enforceable world law to abolish war and global violence in the resolution of disputes, to protect universal human rights and freedoms, and to restore and sustain our global environment. We find ourselves once again at a critical time. The war in Ukraine shows us once again that we have yet to build the institutions we need to prevent war between nations or to eliminate the threat of nuclear destruction. Brittany Greiner is a very public example of how human rights are not protected adequately around the world. More and more people are accepting that climate change is real, but we still have no way to adequately deal with this global problem. According to the United Nations High Commissioner of Refugees, at the end of 2021, there were more than 89.3 million people around the world who were visibly displaced. 89.3 million. That number is hard to comprehend. And if that isn't enough stress on us all, the global pandemic has now claimed the lives of over 1 million people in the US and 6.6 .6 million in the world. The need for effective global government has never been more obvious. We all need to take a deep breath to embrace our common humanity and reach out to others both at home and abroad, across all peoples, all nations, all continents, and all generations. Cooperation and collaboration are how we can bend the arc of justice towards the common good, especially for those on the margins who suffer from injustice in today's world order. And so we have come together for the next three days to learn more about how our world could be better governed to deliver our vision of a peaceful, free, just, and sustainable world community.